<laughs> All right, Ashley, thank you. I'm already getting started on my next interview over here. Corporate leaders are under more pressure than ever, not only to deliver the numbers, but to communicate to employees, customers, suppliers, and investors. Our next guest helps CEOs improve their communication skills, which can be critical to a company's bottom line. We welcome author, motivational speaker, and founder of Communispond, Kevin Daly. And Kevin, you were just telling me Communispond comes from... Communicate and respond. Gee, hey, that's original. All right. So, <laughs> what is the key to successful communications for a CEO? Well, Peter, a lot of people think it's all in the written word that you read off a script or even the spoken word that you merely s state. And communication is a lot more than that. It's so physical. And that's one of the things I'd like to get into, how important it is to be physical when you communicate. So, how can CEOs use these skills to communicate to all these constituencies? Well, as an example, on Monday I was working with a major corporation, a financial analyst meeting, and there were five participants up there, and those people, of course, are trying to impress some 85 analysts with how the company's future looks. Now, the future isn't there yet. The past is. So they have to deal with the past, but they have to communicate confidence and credibility in terms of what the future looks like. So you, you want to perhaps demonstrate, give us a few pointers here. Well, I, I'd like yeah, to... Yeah, go man, ahead. Go ahead. We wired stand you. Up? You may stand yeah. up. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Now, Peter, I could say to you, I'll just do wrong way, right way. If I were to say uh, I've spent more than half my life or almost half my life uh, <laughs> working with CEOs <laughs> to make them more effective in front of a group. Uh, now, there, there that's... Uh, but if I were to say to you, now, I've spent more than half my life working with CEOs to help them be more effective in front of a group and communicate credibility and confidence at a high level. Now, those now, two things are different. But a lot of that was looking at me, number exactly, one, yes. and, and generally body language. You body had your language, hands yes. crossed down. Yeah. Yeah, and see, people hold on to a lectern when they speak, a lot, of, a lot of CEOs, and you can't see them. And we communicate to people's eyes, to people's ears, and then to their minds with words. But it goes through these filters, eyes and ears. All right, so that's for like a presentation to a group of analysts or to the employees at, the, at a staff meeting or something like that. What about something really challenging like a product recall or some kind of corporate crisis? Well, see, credibility is so important. I'll sit that back sure. down if I may. So important in a case like that. So what, what does the CEO have to do? Well, he has to make sure that he knows the material. There's no such thing as... A a improv, ad lib. I mean, that's for Robin Williams. It's not for a CEO. Preparation and then rehearsal. Rehearsal. So he has it down cold. Now, once he does, it should come from the inside out. Scripts? No, no. Doesn't work. Somehow the people say, wait a second, that's day old bread. Now, we, we do have some of the keys to communications, and we have a full screen. We want to go run down some of these here. If we can pull them up. Here we go. Oh, right. Yeah, th th this goes back to th these issues of how you look, how you sound, and what you say. And I, I've kind of seen this, uh, this chart before, but, it, but, but walk us through that. Only 7% of this involves what you say. Well, what this is, Moravian, Dr. Moravian, UCLA, he is the person that came up. You just study of its kind ever conducted on communication, and it's impact of communication, impact now, and the impact is visual, big. I think it's 55%. Right. And sound, 38%, 7%, what you say. That doesn't mean that you don't have to have the what you say part. You do. But you've got to obey the laws of nature and make sure that you feed the eyes and the ears of the people listening. So where did you get that tie? No, kidding. All right, <laughs> no, we're going to put you to the test right now. We want to, you to take a look at a couple CEOs in action. The first one up is the CEO of Bad Boy Entertainment, uh, Sean Puffy Combs. Here's a clip. I tell y'all, take this seriously. And watch as I tell y'all here today. Come November 3rd, they'll be talking about us. They used to joke around about us, about say we were disenfranchised, we were too lazy to vote. On November 3rd, they won't be laughing no more. The youth of America will have the last laugh. Huh? Thank y'all, I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> okay, pluses and minuses for his presentation there. Well, Peter, yeah, that's a gig that he's kind of doing there. And, you know, he's playing to his audience, no other audience. Uh, what did, did he use his hands? No. He just plain talked and used that jive talk to try to talk to his audience. You know, not all bad, but certainly not using the potential power that exists within the, the person. He's right. good. The second CEO we want to look at this morning is uh, probably from the total opposite side of the spectrum, <laughs> Bill Gates. Let's take a look at Bill Gates. Okay. So if we digitize 
uh, the idea that the phone call is sat outside of that structure uh, becomes more and more evident that it, it really is the one thing that hasn't been pulled in and subject to the software and hardware revolution. All right, how did Bill Gates do? Well, uh, may I stand up again just to show you? Sure. Here, here's what happens when we hold a clicker in our hand. This hand will come over and we'll tend to talk like this. And it just pulls away. Bill Gates would have been much better if we call it one hand at a time. Instead of both hands together like this, one hand at a time when you speak because somehow that looks better, more impactful to an audience. I don't make those rules. The audience does. But we do have to obey them. Well, hopefully Bill Gates is watching this segment and he'll give you a call for some pointers. Hey, he's done all right. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Have you consulted with him? No, I haven't. All right. All right. Well, there, there you go. Another potential client. Kevin, thank you Peter. so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. And I hope I passed the test. We have, we have a few other people in the building who kind of have the same message on communications. Believe me. Thanks. All right. Next on Money for Breakfast.